Welcome back to part two of building a price tracker using ChatGPT. Now let's continue. Summits type. I would also like to have the user remove each item individually at will. I would also like to be notified when the desired price is equal or above current price. Please update the code. So it gave us more code for the popup.js and the background.js. So let's copy the code, paste them into the files. Save the file, refresh the plugin, let's refresh the Amazon web page. I'm going to type in 30, then I'm going to type in 1, hit OK. Now let's check the track list, and it looks like we do have our item with the remove buttons here. Um, and they actually do work, which is great. So now let's refresh the page again. And add the item again, and let's see if we can get the notification to work. So it looks like it's not working, so I'm going to right click, select inspect to see if we can find an error. Uh, there's no error here. Let's go back into the extensions web page and see if we can find an error there. Looks like there is an error, um, so let's copy this error and paste it into ChatGPT. So type, I want the interval switched to minutes and not hour. And here is the error I'm receiving. Paste the error code. So it provided us with a piece of code to replace in content.js. So let's do that. And it also showed us code for background.js that would allow us to change it from hour to minutes. So let's just make sure that's updated. Save the file. Let's go back and refresh the plugin. Clear the error log. And let's refresh the Amazon web page. And now it looks like our button is missing. Let's go back into ChatGPT and have them provide us updated code. I type, now I don't see the button. Please correct your code. So I provided code for content.js, let's copy the code, paste the code, save the file, refresh the plugin, now let's refresh the Amazon web page. Looks like our button is back, so I'm going to click on price tracker, and then I'm going to type in $30 for example, and so it looks like it corrected the intervals now, so I'm going to type in 1 for 1 minute, and now let's check the tracker list, and it looks like our item is there. So in this example, the product is worth $27. We put our desired price to be $30. Since the price dropped below our desired price, in one minute we should be notified that this item has dropped below our desired price. So now we wait. In 
and there you have it, we just received our price drop alert. And so now let's just remove the price just to make sure that's still working, and it is. Now let's just do another test, let's add another product. I'm going to add these glasses. I'm going to enter $5 as my desired price, just to make sure that this plugin is working. And I'm going to set the interval to one minute. So if it's not working, it should notify us. And if it is working, then you should not see a notification for this item since it's worth $8. Now let's check the track list and it looks like it's been added. Now let's add another item and do the opposite. Now I'm going to add one more item. Let's go for these Tide Pods here. For this price, I'm going to type in $40 and I'm going to have it check the price every minute. Now let's check the tracker list. That looks like it's been added. And in the meantime, let's go back into ChatGPT to see if we can give the track list a different look. Now let's type in provide styles.css for a nice look for popup.html. And in the process of typing this, it looks like we received our notification for our Tide Pods. So that worked fine. Update our popup.html code. So let's create our styles.css file. And let's copy the code and paste the code. Now let's refresh the plugin. And now let's click on our tracker list and see how it looks. And it looks great. So we received our notification. So let's just remove these items. And if you notice here in the notifications, we only got notified for the Tide Pods and not for the glasses, which means that the plugin is working just fine. So there you have it. We built our own Amazon price tracker so that you don't ever have to miss a sale again. Or you can choose to sell this add-on on the web store. The choice is yours, but I hope you can see the power in ChatGPT and how it can help you learn and create new things every day. If you like this content, hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.